decided to do a video today because I'm feeling really good and the reason that I'm feeling really good is because I'm not taking any meds right now. Yay! Um, I didn't just go off my meds even though I wanted to anyways, just stop taking them and see what happened. Um, but I went and saw my psychiatrist and she took me off my meds because I've been having too many side effects. And what I've been taking most recently is Risperdal and Abilify. And I talked in a video I already made about the Risperdal and how it's making me really ambivalent and just like blase and just, you know, foggy headed and crappy feeling, so that wasn't working out so good for me. And then the Abilify, I thought it was working when I first started taking it, I took it for about a month. But then, um, it started giving me these horrible, like, restless, jittery feelings, like, I could not sit still, I'd go places, and, like, if I had to sit for any length of time, I would just start freaking out, like, at the movies, or I went to a hockey game, and I had to get up and literally walk around. <laughs> it was bad, and I felt like I just wanted to crawl out of my skin, just rip my skin open and come out of it, and it was, ugh, horrible. And when I told my counselor and my psychiatrist about it, they said it is, I guess, kind of common with Abilify, and it's called akathisia. It has its own name, <laughs> this phenomenon. So she was like, yeah, stop taking that. So, like, two days ago, I went cold turkey and just stopped taking everything, and yesterday I felt really good. <laughs> and today I feel good. Good as in, like, my normal regular self, not like a manic self or a depressed self or a blah, medicated self, just like me. This is like me, my normal <laughs> state. And God, it has been such a long time that I have felt this way because I have been on meds constantly for the last seven months and it's been switching from this to this to this. And so, um, yeah, this is I was curious what would happen. I didn't think I would go like immediately into a mania or anything like that. But I actually did think if I stopped taking the medicine I would stop being so down. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Which is sad that you take medicine and it makes you more blah and down than if you weren't taking it. Because it's supposed to normalize your mood. It's not supposed to make you just like, you know, really, like, dampened version of yourself, like, zombified version of yourself. That's not what they're supposed to do, but sadly that is what they do sometimes. So, I'm just enjoying, you know, this week because I'm going to be without meds for about a week, and then I'm going to start taking a new med and see how that goes. Um, I'm going to be taking Zyprexa. And my psychiatrist wanted me to take that because I, the only medicine that's really seemed to help me, like as far as stabilizing my mood, was Risperdal. And so she wants to keep me in that same antipsychotic class of meds, which is why she's giving me Zyprexa. And, I mean, just real quickly, the medicines that I've already tried are Lamictal. That didn't do anything for me. I didn't have any side effects, but it didn't stop me from becoming manic either, so the amygdala didn't work. Lithium made me so sick. It was like the worst hangover of my life. I was like throwing up, chills, like body aches, the worst headache of my life. It was really, really bad. Just groggy, ugh, totally sick. So I only took that for a short time. <coughs> Risperdal, I already talked about. Abilify, I just talked about. Um, Theraquil made me become psychotic, which is really ironic since it's an antipsychotic and it's supposed to stop those things from happening, not make them happen. So, those are, you know, what I've tried. Those are the five meds I've tried. Now I'm going on to my sixth. So, we'll see how it, it goes. But, I mean, if I have too many side effects from Zyprexa, I think I'm going to just talk to my doctor about going off meds entirely because it's not unheard of, you know. I know a lot of bipolar people do it just on their own, but 
if you're under the care of a doctor and you're still being kind of monitored and watched, I think it's safer. Um, my counselor knows all about how I feel. and Not that she's encouraging me, but she's letting me know, you're an adult, this is your choice to make. If you feel that you want to go without medicine, that's, you know, up to you to decide if you can handle it, <laughs> if, you can, if you think you can manage your symptoms without meds. So it's kind of like a toss-up. You don't really know until you try it. But, I mean, I'm still on the horse, technically. I'm still going to be taking meds for a while. <laughs> but we'll see what happens in the future. Just wanted to show myself, like, in my normal state before it goes away again, probably.